continuing the series of the weekly contest 277 the last question in the queue is maximum good po- people based on statements here in this question we are given n folks or n persons and either each person can be a good person or a bad person also we are given a set of statements in a form of a matrix of size n cross n wherein each element of the matrix can have three possibilities zero that simply means that the ith person commented on the jth person that he or she is a bad person when you see a value one in the matrix it means that the ith person commented on the jth person that person happens to be a good person and the third case is a card say opinion ith person cannot comment about the identity of the jth person whether he is a good person or a bad person what we need to do we need to return the maximum number of good persons that could exist in the group given the set of statements that are given to us here we are specified with few examples i'll be talking about these examples as well as the algorithm by the presentation that i have created so let's quickly hop on to the ppt and conclude the approach so let's get started the question seems difficult but it is not difficult maximum good people based on statements lead code 2151 It's a hard level question on lead code. However, I would like to rate this question under medium category. Guys, it's not. It looks difficult. It's not that difficult. So in the question, uh, there were three opinions a person can make about the other person. That the first one is a bad state. I am stating that the other person is a bad person. The next one is a good person. I am stating that the other person is a good person. and the third one is a can't say opinion it is represented by 2 it is represented by 1 it is represented by 0 we need to maximize the total number of good persons that could exist given the set of statements that they have made let's try and analyze the statements that were specified in the first example uh, the array is given to us as 212 122 202 202 and i have specified the indexes here as well uh, these were the statements made by the Zeroth person. These were the statements made by the first person. These were the statements made by the second person. So as per this, zeroth person told that the first person happens to be a good person. One states that it's a good person. So zeroth person said that one person is a good person. Similarly, we can see walk through the other cases as well. Uh, two represents. Uh, it it's a can't say opinion. So let's skip it. Uh, next we see one made a statement about zero that it, he happens to be a good person similarly two made a statement about one that he happens to be a bad person so we have extracted all these conditions over here what are we going to do now we will iterate through all the possibilities that could exist so since the total number of people that we have in the first example is 3 that simply signifies that we can have at max 2 raised to the power 3 possibilities we'll assume each person to be either a good person or a bad person and i have listed down all such possibilities over here it makes it to a matrix of eight possibilities and here zero again represents a bad person and one represents a good person we will validate each possibility against the set of statements that we have and we will try to conclude whether it holds true as per this assumption or not these statements hold true as per this assumptions or not so let's get started and you will understand here we assume that all of them are good people and all of them are speaking the truth so let's verify as per the set of statements that we have so uh, here we say that the zeroth person happens to be a good person so we'll go to the zeroth row and we'll check what all conclusions has he made he has told that the zeroth person himself is a is a can't say person so let's skip it next he says that the first person happens to be a good person so we'll check whether in our assumption the first person is a good person it's it's true it's a good person so this assumption holds true right now let's proceed ahead next again he made the made the conclusion that the second person happens to be a can't say person so let's skip it let's proceed ahead in the iteration uh, here we see we assume that the first person happens to be a good person so let's go to the first row uh, we see that he has made a decision that the zeroth person happens to be a good person and let's check whether the zeroth person is a good person yes zeroth person is a good person 
so right now it's also good the rest of the fields are 2 2 so let's skip it it's a can't say opinion let's proceed ahead next we see is another good person and that person is a second person so let's go to the second row and let's see what all conclusions has he made he has told that the first person happens to be a bad person did we make an assumption no we didn't make that assumption as per our assumption the first person too was a good person therefore it the statements contradicts our assumption and this is not a valid combination to assume so let's skip it let's proceed ahead and walk through the next combination that we assumed here we have made an assumption that the zeroth person is a good person the first person is a good person and the second person happens to be a bad person so let's start the iteration uh the first person happens to be a good person so we'll go and check his row uh what assumptions he has made he has made that the first person is a good person so let's check whether as per our assumption whether he, the first person was a good person or not yes he is a good person so that holds true let's proceed ahead next we see another good person and that is the first person so we'll go and see the first row over here and he made a statement about the zeroth person that he happens to be a good person from here so let's cross validate whether in our assumption we also did the same yes we also did the same and let's proceed ahead next we see is a bad person so since second is a bad person we will not go and look out for his statements because anyways he is lying so as per this uh we have iterated over all the statements and right now the assumption in this assumption we made there are two good persons zero and one and as per the statements it holds true therefore it gives us the possibility it's a valid combination the total number of good people here turns out to be two so one possibility of answer could be two let's proceed ahead let me just change the color of pen in the next iteration we see we assume that the zeroth person is a good person the first person is a bad person and the second person happens to be a good person so we will only look out for those statements made by the people that are good in nature so uh, the zeroth person happens to be a good in nature so we'll go to the zeroth row this one and he made a decision or a statement that the first person happens to be a good person and let's check in our assumption the first person happens to be a bad person which is a contradictory statement therefore we will not assume uh, this combination to be valid so let's skip it let's proceed ahead and let me just change the color of pen to black maybe yeah in this assumption we made zeroth person to be a good person and the rest of the two are bad persons so let's go through uh, the statements made by the zeroth person and it would be these he says that the first person happens to be a good person again it's a contradictory thing uh, the statement made by him happens to be uh, that he the first person is a good person however as per our assumption it's not therefore this can't be a valid permutation as well you can yourself iterate through the rest of the four possibilities in case Uh, any of these combinations matches with the set of statements you will count the number of good people in that uh, combination and you can find out the maximum one out of the list here in this question it will turn out to be 2 i'll exactly follow the same steps as i have talked here and let's conclude the final approach in the coding section so let's get started uh here uh, i'll be using bit masking technique but not that detailed it's very simple and straight forward i have created a variable named uh, good maximum people and uh, i will generate combinations uh in terms of integers uh, what we will do i'll simply mask uh, one person as a good person in one go and then i'll cast it into the form of an array instead of an integer so this is a simple helper method that is basically applying or casting this mask into a form of an array so i'll talk about it it's something similar to 0 1 1 where 0 signifies that the zeroth person is a bad person and the rest two are good persons in a form of an array from an integer value not that difficult 
i'll talk about it in the later when we will go through that helper method and in case it's a valid combinations if the roles assigned ha happens to be a valid as per the set of statements we will check the number of good people in that roles array and we will simply return the maximum one that we could figure out so this approach consists of three steps one is appropriately creating all com all combinations and other one is validating those combinations against statements and then finding out the maximum good people so let's talk about these helper methods uh, it basically casts this integer into a form of a roles array wherein let's assume that the um, the mask is something like the number was something like this which is nothing but 3 the number was 3 passed to it it will assign the roles array as 0 11 so uh, the binary representation of 3 is 0 11 and it will assign roles appropriately also it will return the number of good people that are present as per this integer so it accepts an integer and casts it into a form of an array where each element of the array will be either 0 or 1 and it will also return the number of good people in that array so it will return 2 let's proceed ahead let's talk about is the valid helper method that we have created which will which will verify the roles versus statements so it will iterate through all the uh, all the people that we have and in case my current assigned role to the ith element happens to be zero that means he is a bad person and we'll skip it we'll only look out for those people that are honest in nature that are saying the truth and in case the roles at the ith index happens to be 1 uh, we will check against all the set of statements that we have in case the current statement happens to be 2 that means it's a can't say opinion we'll skip that statement otherwise we'll check whether the statement made by the ith person with respect to the jth person matches with the role assigned to the jth person if it doesn't match we'll abort the process and return false from it otherwise if we are successfully able to iterate through this loop we'll simply return true pretty simple and straight forward guys it's not that difficult and let's try this up accepted this brings me to the end of today's session i hope you enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for viewing it have a great day ahead and with this we have solved all the four questions of the weekly contest 277 thanks for viewing it i, I hope you really enjoyed watching the entire series